Hey guys, today I have a short tutorial. It's uh, you know, it's pretty obvious what it is. Um, I'm gonna assume you guys know a little bit about Blender. I'm not gonna go into uh, extreme detail, but actually this is very simple. This is um, a uh, text. You press tab, it can still be uh, edited, um, but it's not a uh, it's not transformed into a mesh. It's it's still text. We have one flat plane here. Yeah, I have a um, reflection cube map and a uh, iridescence volume. Uh, just, you know, you don't really need this. I hard is all different, but you know, just in case. We have a sun here and uh, we have a point lamp pointing there, but uh, just to light up the scene a little bit better. Um, the setup before we get into the actual animation is uh, the environment, nothing. We're just gonna be using a sun and a point lamp. So first things first, the text, rotate on the X axis, 90. Keep in mind that uh, each one of these are an individual letter. Now every single one of the letters you just duplicated, you're gonna put N, E, T, F, you know. I'm gonna do this one again, but you're gonna do this for each letter. Make sure the bevel is 0 0.01. You can kind of see it there on the edges. Yep, I am doing this one-handed because the mic's in my left hand, so sorry if I'm moving kind of weird. Okay, so next thing you're going to do, at the first keyframe, you're gonna have them all right behind the wall, not be able to be seen, then you're gonna skip ahead. Then you're gonna put them all the way out. Now the magic in having this smooth transition is at halfway between this keyframe and this keyframe right here. If you look at press seven, you can look at the top. You're gonna see it's like a staircase. You want the first letter to be most out, and then you're gonna move it back a little, back a little, back a little. That way, if you move it, it gradually comes out like that. And when you go back, you're gonna do the reverse. This one's gonna go back, and then this one's gonna trail like that. That way, it has that nice pop in pop out look so on this keyframe over here 48 and remember it's from here you don't you don't do this keyframe until you do the last one you do the first one the first position then the last position and in between then you're gonna vary it like make sure this one's the furthest out then you go back like that so that way it slides Okay, now with the color, you'll realize that Netflix has a cast shadow here. This is from the sun. You want to make sure that the sun is at an angle. That way the shadow is not too long or in the opposite direction. And you can see nice little shadows here. Also, if you check back here, you think you'll be able to see that there is ambient occlusion and screen space reflections on now we all know that you know netflix comes out white like that and goes back in but boom how do we change the color how does it look flat like this like it's no longer 3d good question nobody because i'm talking to myself <laughs> but uh basically you're just going to assign all of these different uh letters the exact same color and right before you want it to turn red you're going to go to the color make sure it's white you're gonna press I. You have to hover over this and press I. Create a keyframe when it's white and then you're gonna go to when you want it to turn red, boom. Then you're gonna move it from white to red and then you're gonna hover over and press I again. And then it will keyframe. It'll be I for insert keyframe. Then it'll change like that. Now, you'll notice that if you pay attention the camera itself is moving out a little bit. First, it moves in just slightly in and then out a little bit. See that that out movement? Then it slowly follows outwards slowly. Let me click this right here. So you can actually see the camera's keyframes. 
in quickly. This is the camera keyframe. In quickly. Smoothly back out. Smoothly out. A little faster. Then slowly from here to here. It's just a slow. And if you press T, if you hover over the timeline, press T. Boom. Make sure you click constant. Cl constant time. Now, if you render this image, you'll be able to see this little vignette, and that's from this. In the composite, is it a compositor? <laughs> All right, yes. Compositor. Ellipse mask. You can see the numbers here, so, you know, just copy. Into the image of a blur, select Gaussian blur. Put it into here. You can play around with which factor you want, make sure it's multiply. Now, the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a lattice. You're gonna add the lattice, and give it a few lines, make sure it's shaped like this. Also make sure that you put the lattice halfway down so it does not affect the top of the logo and only affects the curve at the bottom. And then you're going to select each one of the letters and then the modifier tab, add lattice. After lattice is added, make sure you select lattice, which is the one that you made here. This will give a nice curve to the letters in the logo for the uh, audio. just It's just the Netflix audio, just make sure. To make sure you can hear it when you're scrubbing, you make sure you're in your regular timeline. Press playback, audio scrubbing, that way you can hear it so you can time it. If you enjoyed this video as usual, please like, comment, and subscribe and the download will be in the description below.